here I come. And the hell's coming with strength. That's a good strat. Just uh waltz around the area and just draw the all the thieves' attention. Any more thieves? Thieves! Oh thieves! Where are you? That's it? Okay, yes. well. Let's do this. And in we go. Oh! I am called. Okay. Well, well, what do we have here? To whom do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I am called Zircon. Who are you? I am Lord Chamberlain Marketh. I am responsible for making sure the new Dorne's Deep runs efficiently, among among other things. Even if you have to crush a few gnomes to, in, into the ground to do it? If my superior needs something done, it must be done, whatever the cost. I don't have the luxury or time to be burdened with ethics. Have you ever considered uh, have you ever stopped to consider the possibility that your superior is evil? Oh, here it comes. You're grinding up people to, uh, and destroying their lives. Blah blah blah. The children blah blah blah. I don't claw all my way to the top of the heap just to be taken down by something as pathetic as moral sentiment. Give it a rest. How did you wind up here? Well, I used to be part of a silly adventuring company. I was in it for the money. They were in they were in it for some sort of noble cause. That's what brought us here. They came to stop Hokalina after we had slaughtered most of Hokalina's beast minions. He offered us all jobs working for him. Of course, the stupid paladin started spouting off about how Hokalina would, uh, would pay for his evil and so on. That's when I decided to slip my dagger into a, our wizard's back. He died without a sound. I killed our priest too. Hokalina Pok made sure uh, short work of the paladin. Ooh, this is not sounding great. He appreciated my help and my style. The rest is history. Bastard, I hate traitors. Well, too bad, kid. Keep yourself alive. That's the name of the game. Speaking of which, I think I'll be leaving now. Farewell, kids. You don't... You don't get to... You don't get to do it, Mark. You don't get it, do you, Marketh? I came here for your badge. You're not going anywhere until you hand it over. You know, you look like a reasonable person. I'm just a thief. I'm not looking for a fight. I don't suppose there's any chance you just take the badge and let me go, is there? Yes, actually. I promised GMFA I wouldn't hurt you. Hand over the badge and I'll let you go. I have to get back to me on my games of watching you because Kitka has moved them because there is 18 people in our house. Not a problem. Ah, uh, what a sweet girl she is. Very well. Say goodbye to Volcano for me. Farewell. Your doom is at hand. Your life is dead. To victory. Bring it on. Oh, oh, oh. I think I have something just for this. Oh, not you. Oh, no, I don't. About a feeble mind. Oh God! So that's how it is. Uh -huh. Of course. Help! 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 The loot is mine. Your doom is at hand. That feeble mind really worked out. Run, Dan! Okay, there we go. And we did it. Nice. Yeah, I'm, rock rock I'm rocking a very sleepy miracle right now. Oh. Oh. That is... Oh. All right. Oh. 
What is this? This is a what kind of dagger is this? The salamander's tongue plus three. That goes to you. What are these? Multi or dual class fighter. Looks de decent graphically. Yep. Not use. Okay. So nobody can use this. So that's going to have to go into the here. Oh, Drake and saying, Ooh, there you go. Uh, plus two. And that's a meh. What are you? Armor class six. That didn't change anything. Oh, well, I guess that's not going to change anything at all. What? Okay. I have a 50% chance of dealing. Oh! Jeez! Okay, what are you? Armor class plus two, magical resistance plus five. You can cast. One extra first level wizard spell. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, wrong, wrong item. Compared to you, armor class three. Oh. Uh, I mean, magic resistance plus 10%, safer spell plus two. Non-detectable by magic means such as detectable invisibility and scrying. Don't really care about that. This one's... Okay, these three are nice. And the immediate number Hulk gaze is pretty cool too. But yet... An extra first level... Sp uh... Yeah, you know what? No. Not worth it. And what are you? God... Freaking darn it, why can't... Why can't she wear it? It's a studded leather. She's wearing... Due to mag... Oh. Magical items, that's why. Well, at least there's nothing special about it, so there's that, I suppose. Wow, a bunch of magical items, and we didn't even take... We're not even using one. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, right. Multi or dual class fighters. Yeah, yeah, we're not we're not even using one. Speak your mind. Of course. Which is a bit unfortunate, really. But all right. That's all six badges. Yes. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Nope, nothing. Nope, 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 and nope. Mm -hmm. That's the case. All right. Go ahead and start digging, girl. Potions. Potions. Another set of armor with a potion. A golem building book. More potions, and you are... Potions. Well, golem building book. This book appears to be a manual detailing Malavon's construction of two iron golems. At a... 
Uh, it also contains a number of strange phrases that appear to be command words. Done freaking deal. That is a done deal. She's now in the negatives of armor class. Yay! <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's pretty freaking awesome. Finally, she gets something she can use. That's actually worth it. That's a, that. Those are some good resistances. And that plus two, didn't that? I think that cape actually originally gave her a plus two to saves, right? Yes. So yeah, absolutely worth it. All right, well, D, you're up. Go get your drugstore in inventory, because, you know, you're a drug addict. And that's not quite healthy for you. All right, so where am I going? Okay, get out of here. It shall be done. Let's see. Let's go ahead and talk with Ginef and Ginefe. Hello again. Did you want something? How did you wind up here? I should have seen it coming. I abused Malavon constantly while he was growing up. When revered mother, uh, brother Paquinlin and his lieutenants met with my people, I slighted Marquette. I wouldn't speak to him because he was male. Instead, I spoke with Maiden Ilmaria. After a long discussion, our city could find no reason to ally with po uh, Poqueli. Unlike the rest of my people, Malavon wanted to join with the rever uh, revered brother. I discovered this, so he abducted me and took me to Marketh for safekeeping. They eventually found out a way. Now, Poqueli is planning some sort of assault on my former home, and I am left here with Marketh. Why don't you just leave? My my brother, Malavon, he placed a series of spells on me. If I ever cross the boundaries of this place, the first two spells will destroy my natural resistance to magic. The third spell will extinguish my life forces. Oh. Is there any way to save her? Is there a way to save her? Because now I really want to save her. I wonder, though. I'm here on it. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Here I go. Oh, Yennefe, I found this potion. It destroys magical effects on people who drink it. Do you think that you could use it to remove Malavon's contingency spells? Now that Marketh has left, I, I suppose there's no reason for me to stay here. I I don't know what else to do. I suppose I should take the potion and leave this de uh, dead place. Thank you for your help. Farewell. Got it. course uh now i now i now i kind of wonder what if would that have happened if i had talked well. to her again yes okay 
your command. That was weird. Of course. That was a tad bit weird, but okay. It shall be done. Hmm. So I still got a bunch of spells left, so I'm just going to go ahead and have a um, brother Perdium heal us. Thank you, brother. Drop the act, Pokeline. I'm sick of all these raids. I've been hacking through mm, through enemies mm, uh, for days, weeks, just to get out of these damn mountains. I'm not about to let a crazed man in a bloody Ilmatar high mm, priest robe stand in my way. Oh, I'm sorry, but war and charades are the only two games I know how to play. If they are not to your liking. I'm afraid you'll be ill-equipped to play the game that's about to begin. Cut the... Um... As interesting as I find your musing on various topics, ranging from the nature of justice to the history of the world, I really appreciate... I'd really appreciate it if you quit rambling, thanks. After centuries of exonomized, laboriously worded speeches and delusions of grandeur, it is a welcome change to hear such succinct threats from an enemy. Thank you for disposing of her, by the way. Her speeches were quite tiresome, and she suffered her defeats so poorly. What are you up to, Pulkin? Why the spine of the world? The only thing really standing in the way of my conquering this territory was Exonomai. When you killed her, you removed the largest obstacle in my campaign. And you gained an even larger one. <laughs> As you probably already know, my arrival in this world was a result of conflict with my ancient adversary. I was exiled from my home plane when my vendetta with Exonomai got, as my superior said, out of control. As soon as I arrived in this world, I knew that Exonomai would follow. After all, what's a few thousand years and a billion miles between old friends? I sought out a base of operations from which I could start a military force. In the process of doing so, I heard something calling to me from a distant glacier. It was this. Grenshiniban. It's an artifact so old that it makes me seem young. A crystal shard with magical powers of such magnitude that Kaldahar's heartstone gem looks like a child's toy. Just having it in my possession caused the monstrous creatures of this land to leave their ancient homes and seek me out. Its other powers are too numerous to mention. Despite the fact that the Shard has a somewhat overbearing personality, 
Our plans seem to coincide. As for my lieutenants, they were easy enough to find. All of them were eager to join my cause. Except for poor naive Brother Padil. The guise of an Ilmatarian revered brother was perfect for traveling and gathering information in Icewind Dale. The form was easy enough to assume. The information inside of Padium's head allowed me to flesh out the role. Everything was going well until that annoying Arendelle and your good friend, the late Rothgar, decided to investigate Exonomai's poorly veiled activities in Dragon's Eye. Ye vicious, yes. If that idiot had been a little more clandestine in her business, no one would have suspected. To stall Exonomai and seal off Icewind Dale, I used Granshinabon to freeze the passes, but not quickly enough to prevent Rothgar's band from starting their expedition. I had Craig Frostbeard and his giants cause the avalanche that crushed Rothgar, Akalia, and those other fools. Why do the villains always recite their plans? After that, That's I a serious really question. Care what you were doing I have an answer. You seized the Heartstone gem from Exonomai. I thought that Arendelle would be the only person capable of using it. When I killed him, I thought the threat was ended. I certainly didn't expect you to take the gem to Laryl in the severed hand. Very clever. Unfortunately, your actions since that event have been inconsequential. During your extended bloody trek through Upper Dawns, Worm's Tooth, and Lower Dawns, I was building up forces elsewhere, outside of East Haven to be specific. So you see, the destruction of my forces here simply prevents me from having reserve troops during my conquest of the Dale. It's a good thing you can't see East Haven now. It would probably break you to see how easy it is to crush houses and cause temples to explode. Everything you've done is pointless. I am the beginning and the end of this story. I, and only I, will determine how it plays out. Goodbye. Oh, God! Ready. Done. And dead. Okay. Well then. Ready. Oh yeah, you have something, don't you? Oh yes. Oh. That All right, there's this. Me. 
Here. Your command? Speak your mind. Let's do this. Of course. Boom. Very well. Greetings, child of Elmi. Oh, I'm sorry. After sin. Thank you for disposing of her, by the way. The only. As you. I will. I. I the god. The infant. Everything. To, I. After. I. I said during. So it's a good. I am the beginning and the end of this story. I and only I can determine how it plays out. Here I come. And the hells come with me. They shall be done. Do 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 no no Oh god Wrong person. Okay, they have protection from fire. Boom. stumble, gripping his chest as if mortally stricken. A faint glow began to emanate from the crystal that hung round his neck. Suddenly, the entire cave was engulfed in an explosion of blinding light. When the light finally died, the party discovered that they were no longer within the dark passages of Dorne's Deep. As they struggled to regain their bearings, they realized that they had been returned to the town of East Haven. But this was not the sleepy fishing village they had left so long ago. Enchantment had fallen over the town, encasing what remained of the shattered homes and buildings in a prison of solid ice. At the center of the destruction, Upon the very spot where the Temple of Tempus once stood, rose a massive tower of crystal. Anyone dead? No. This is, uh, this is the end? Oh God. Well. Oh. Oh, we lost our haste. Oh no. I have one more battle ahead and I finished the main game.
What? Oh. Heart of Winter next? Um, yes. yes. Heart of Winter is next, I of suppose. Course. Yeah. I swear, I think Hunter is the one who's killing all the guys. I'm killing most of the guys. You, thank the gods you returned. I don't know what's happened, but the giants came out of nowhere, and the ice, it just rose from the earth, and the villagers, the giants herded them up, and, and calm down, Jonan. Where were the villagers taken? They took them to a camp. They tore uh, timbers out of the buildings and used them as a stockade in the southeast corner of town, on the island. I don't know if they're okay. I'll see what I can do. I think I may have an idea with... The, uh, I think I may have to deal with that tower first. You have to free the villagers. Everard's among them, and he may know of a way to mm, way into the tower. I saw the giants drag him into the tower, then return him to the camp. I don't even know if he was breathing. I'll seek him out then. You should seek safety now. There's nothing more you can do here. There's one more thing I can do. That blade you brought me so long, so long ago. It's healed. I simply fell asleep with it on the table beside me one night, and in the dream, it melted together again. When I awoke, it was restored. I want you to use it. Use it to defend East Haven from these monsters. I will. Thank you. Please be careful. The tower. There's nothing evil within it. I can feel the hate from here. It's like waves streaming off the tower. Restored Blade of Aeonin plus five. I'll watch myself. Good God. The demons of sleep hound me. I need rest. Well, before I take a look at that item, I'm going to uh, level a couple of these people up. So, uh, Sin and in character level up Level four spells. Okay, and lore increase.